One candidate pulling ahead in a decisive Senate race in the latest poll. Who's got the edge after a big debate in Iowa? We'll tell you about those numbers and what it might mean for the midterms if it plays out. All right, there's that. And how about this? This is a brand new poll that shows Iowa Republican Joni Ernst pulling ahead in a key midterm race, according to the Iowa Des Moines, Des Moines Register poll. Take a look at these numbers. Ernst is now leading Democratic Congressman Bruce Braley by 6% at 44 to 38. Meanwhile, 12% of the voters say that they are undecided at this point. We'll have to wait till the big night to see how they break. And during a fairly heated debate last night, both candidates trying to separate themselves from certain political allegiances. President Obama's name is not on the ballot. And I'm not going to owe President Obama anything on Election Day. You're going to owe the Koch brothers everything. I will stand up and do what's right for Iowans, not for California extreme environmentalists, not for Senator Harry Reid, not for President Obama. <laughs> Well, that's how it goes on the campaign trail. Ed Rollins was campaign manager for Reagan Bush in the landslide reelection in 1984. Joe Trippi is former Howard Dean man campaign manager. Both are Fox News contributors. Hello, gentlemen. Good, Good morning. morning. Good to have both Good of you here. Thank you. So, Ed, how, how do you think this uh, Joni Ernst thing is going in, in Iowa? And I should point out to everybody, this is Tom Harkin's seat. I, I mean, this is a long-held uh, Democratic seat. That would be a big deal. It's a very big. First of all, she's a tremendous candidate. I had dinner with her a couple months ago in, in Washington D.C., and she's one of the most impressive candidates I've met in a long, long time. Uh, she is a, a farmer. She basically is a state senator. She's a lieutenant colonel in the National Guard. She's an Iraq War veteran. She's extremely articulate, uh, and I think would be a big star in the party. Iowa's a split state. There's two Republican districts and there's two congressional districts. There's, there's a very, very liberal uh, senator that's being replaced here, uh, and, and, and Grassley, who's the other senior senator, who's more conservative. So it's a real swing state, and I think her lead in the, in the Iowa poll, the Moore and Register poll, is very indi indicative of the fact that she's, uh, she's moving forward and has a great shot of winning this thing. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, she's opened up a nice uh, lead for herself here, Joe. Uh, what do you think about Braley? Uh, well, look, this one has got Democrats concerned. I mean, there have been other places like North Carolina where we're feeling a lot better, but this one is, uh, has just eroded enough now that I think there's real, real concern here that Braley's got to, uh, to get back into this. And, and I mean, a lot of this was caused by uh, some mistakes his campaign, he and his campaign made, but she, she's doing a good job. Part of the problem for Braley is he's, he's a congressman who's got to defend Washington at a time where people don't regardless of what party people are in they don't they don't like anything about washington right now Joni Ernst, along from all the things that, that, that uh, Ed said about her, is a local state senator. That's benefiting her right now and, and put Braley on the defensive. Yeah, so that's the spotlight uh, for the one, moment. One other, big issue, one other big issue there is, is Braley, for whatever reason, uh, and all the veterans' crises and what have you, is on the Veterans Committee. And he's missed 75% of the meetings over the last three years, four years. And farmers in, in Iowa, you get up every day and you go to work. Uh, the fact that he's not meeting those uh, assignments. Uh, it's become a very, very negative issue there. Interesting. All right. Uh, that is a spotlight on Iowa for the midterms. But uh, just looking ahead to 2016 for a moment, uh, the name Dr. Ben Carson has been tossed around. And, and Chris Wallace asked him some pointed questions over the weekend. Here's his response to one of them. Wouldn't putting Ben Carson in the Oval Office be akin to putting a politician in an operating room and having him perform one of your brain surgeries? Uh, I don't think so. I think what is required for leadership is wisdom and the ability to assemble an appropriate team, ability to listen, and an ability to make wise decisions. Joe, what do you think about that exchange? Uh, well, I, I thought he answered it uh, very well. Look, I think this guy, uh, it would be good to see him in, in the primary on the Republican side. I think he, he's a, look, I, I don't want uh, uh, the, the strongest candidate, but I think he would lead a good, strong debate and, and might, it, whether he emerges or not, would help uh, the Republicans uh, 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 define themselves better in the, in the 2016 cycle. Ed, what do you think? Would you like I, to see Dr. Ben Carson run? I, I'm a big fan of Dr. Carson, and I think he's done some, I think he's got a very powerful voice and a very important voice. I do think in the presidential primaries, uh, we've got a lot of very serious candidates, governors, senators, what have you. I think he'd have a hard time raising the money.
together and seldom times does a first time candidate ever do well and I think he could be diminished uh, and I think his voice is too important to have him be diminished in a primary process. All right, I'm going to let you do, do one uh, quick thought here on Hillary Clinton. The suggestion on some channels over the weekend that she might decide not to run because she is a grandma, which I, I find uh, very uh, interesting. I don't remember anyone saying that about Mitt Romney, Joe. Well, no, you know, but I've, I've been one of the people that are not sure. I may be the only one left in America that doesn't think she's going to run. Uh, but, but I don't think necessarily for those reasons. But I, I don't think we can, uh, uh, and I, I think that is sort of a strange way of uh, putting that out there. But I, I don't think uh, that, it's, that she's decided yet to go. I don't know whether she's decided or not, but I think it's a very powerful message that I'm, I'm looking for the future for my grandchild, uh, my new granddaughter. Uh, it gives her a very powerful message, and I think she's going to run. Yeah. We will see. And congratulations uh, to her Absolutely. on being a grandmother uh, and on to the Clintons. It's a big moment uh, for any family, and I'm sure yeah, they're enjoying it. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank see you, you next time. Young, sweet Charlotte. Right.